Hey, stop scrolling for a second. I want to share something with you. In the middle 1950s, Leon Festinger became very interested in what happened to people that believed that the world was coming to an end, so he infiltrated the groups and tried to study them. It turns out that many members simply couldn't stand the pain he called this cognitive dissonance between what they believed would happen and what actually happened. So they'd fabricate more and more outrageous claims, got the dates wrong, superheroes slipped in to make it all okay. So ultimately, their worldview would work. They needed to explain the pain that they felt, the dissonant pain that they felt, because the world hadn't actually come to an end. And rather than actually admitting that they had been wrong, they created more and more elaborate explanations. The more wrong they were, the more twisted the explanations had to become. Conspiracies, ignoring factual, demonstrable evidence, magical thinking. So you see, sometimes being wrong hurts. Sometimes it hurts a lot. And this is why I admire people that can see facts that are measurable, observable, and repeatable, and change their minds. Changing your mind is difficult. Your brain doesn't want to admit that it was wrong. Look around. There are not that many people that have the courage to admit that they were wrong. But those that do, I really admire them. If it's measurable, observable, and repeatable, if there is evidence that your worldview is incorrect, it's going to take courage to transform that worldview. But some of you, some of you, you do have that courage. Way to go.